But certainly uh, anytime something like this does happen, it can trigger that post-traumatic stress symptoms. We've talked about that today. Mm -hmm. And 13 Action News reporter Yasmin Hassan has more on the resources that are available to you right here in our valley. Anytime you have a traumatic event like that, it shakes your foundation. Survivors of the Thousand Oak shooting are likely still processing what happened inside that bar. But even those who were not at the shooting can still experience the grief that comes with trauma, and it is so important to get help. There's some hesitancy maybe to reach out and ask for help and not feeling like that, um, feeling like that makes them not as strong as they want to feel. But what's important, I think, is to know is that anyone is impacted anyone can be impacted by what occurred and it's expected. If you feel like you're having a difficult time coping, there are things that can help. Reach out, talk to someone who is understanding and cares about you. You can also seek counseling. If you're struggling, counseling can offer some coping strategies. It's also important to stay in your normal routine as much as possible. Even if you don't feel like it, go back to work, go to school and try to carry on with your usual chores and don't hide from your feelings. Of course, we wanna feel those feelings. If we didn't feel those feelings anymore, then I'd start to worry. And then we pull together and we, we remind each other that we're strong and we're gonna be there for each other. at the Healing Garden. You can see someone's here right now setting out things in remembrance. There's also the Vegas Strong Resiliency Center and that is available to everyone. There are such good resources here. You can see help is here for you and for those you love. You can stop by. Anyone is welcome Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Reporting live from the Healing Garden, Yasmin Hassan, 13 Action News.